right, guys, how to make your hand lines. You're going to need a Cuban yo-yo like you've seen me do. You know, braided line, about a 100-pound test line. You could either go mono or you could go braid. It's easier to tie braided. Of course, some scissors. You're going to need some sort of uh, main line. Uh, this is 30-pound test. Berkeley big game, swivel, whatever rig you're going to use. Get this at the Wally World. I, I'm going to put the whole thing on this hand line. So you're going to just thread this 100 pound test line through the, the little hole here. Okay, so you got coming here, down and out, and then that's it. So three half hitches going through there. You see how that's fairly secure. All right, see if you're left handed, put this in your right hand and wind it away from you. If I'm, I'm right handed so put the flat part to the palm of my hand and I'm going to wind away from you. It's just in the opposite direction. Keep on until you completely get this entire spool onto here. I'm going to take your main line. I'm using 30 pound test. I don't want to move heavier than that because it's going to be too hard to break. Measure off 24 feet of this. In fact, I think we'll do a nail knot because it's easier to tie with this particular combination. Here, it's basically an overhand knot again, and we're going to just loop it over five times on the rope itself. So, so one, two, three, um, okay, four, and five. We're going to pull that somewhat taut not have to be all the way but just make sure there's uh, make sure it's pulled taut enough that you can move it up and down make sure you put him on here the same thing we're only going to do a double knot with him one two so that the line is passing through the center of both of these knots see how that's going there you pull them both toward each other not there Ugh. So between the ants and mosquitoes, we might make it through. I don't know. <laughs> so that's really a lot of tension there. I'm going to come all the way down to the end. You're going to tie your swivel. With the hand line, I put at least two, if not like four. Uh, it just works better with a heavier weight with this particular system. So that's what we're going to do. So there we go. we got our slinky weights on there. From the slinky weight, you're going to go from the knot here to the middle of your chest, tie a, a, a snod or a loop, drop loop. One, if you want to learn how to do this, just go to animatednots.com for all these knots. Knot stop, and that's that's one drop. You're gonna do come up again, put one above it. So now we have a hook here and a hook here. Oh, battery's getting low, guys. Now you can tie a leader by taking some 20 pound line Measuring out, you know, maybe from your palm of your hand to your elbow, something like that. So we got our slinky weights. Going down to, going to our first, uh, the leader that we put on. About three foot up above that, we got our other hook that we put on. We'll probably run a leader off this guy too, probably longer, more like three feet back or something. The nail knot, and then we have 240 feet of 100 pound test braid. Now, would I cast this in this configuration? No, that's too many hooks to be casting. That's just dangerous. Uh, that, you're, gonna, you're gonna lose an eye or something like that with that. This is what I'd use purely for just trolling and for uh, just trolling, jigging, drifting. Now, if you wanted to fish bluegill, you just take off your leader here and put four pound let time test line on. That's that's two rigs. It's still very compact. It's See ya. Check out the music video if you haven't seen it.